morning. Right, May. It's the busiest month in the growing calendar. I think we can all agree on that one. So in this video, I'm going to go through a few things we all should be doing in May. So one thing we should all have now is stuff to plant out. So get them brassicas in the beds, get them growing, but make sure you sort of lime your soil if you've got club root and stuff like that. Um, these need to go out. <laughs> The next thing is climatise your plants. Don't just put them straight in the ground, make sure you harden them off first. Just use a simple coal frame like mine. Mine's just storage at the minute for nets, but stuff will be going in, like my um, sweet corn. Yeah, harden them off. Another thing to think about at the minute is watering. Now, your polytunnel will get really dry. May is where the temperatures really do start to pick up. Um, I could water my polytunnel twice a day and it still wouldn't be enough at the minute. It's reaching over the 40. So yeah, it really is important. If you stress the plants out by letting them go dry and water, dry water, they just won't produce very well, to be honest. So keep on top of that. Try and water as early as possible in the morning or as late in the night as you can. That way the temperature is a little bit lower and it'll hold that moisture for a little bit longer. Now is the time to be planting out things like brassicas. Now they need covering from butterflies, cabbage white fly, they're horrific. They are about now, probably out last month, I think I saw one or two. So what you probably need is a bit of scaffold netting or butterfly netting. This does the trick, cheap as chips, go and get them covered. Another thing to think about is weeds. Now try and get them when they're small. If you start waiting till they're big and then start pulling them out, then roots are going to be established. And if you've got things like carrots underneath or root veg, you're going to start disturbing them roots and they're not going to love you. <laughs> so get them weeds up as soon as you see them, if you can. Or get some chickens and they'll do it for you. Keep your paths short if you've got grass paths. This stops it going to seed and blowing all over your allotment or vegetable garden. So another good thing is mulch. This retains the moisture in your soil. When your greenhouse, put it around your plants if you want in there. Why not? It holds the moisture better than just watering alone. As you just saw, I've just um, mown my paths and I've got a load of grass. That rhymed that did, didn't it? So yeah, I'm going to go and put this around my plants. But another good mulch is this. Rhubarb leaves. Now, this is only small, but rhubarb leaves grow really big. If you put them around your plants, that will also help retain the moisture in your soil. There's a good tip there. When you are putting grass clippings down, don't do it too thick because then it will just become a slimy, horrible mess. So just a thin layer around the plants will do the trick. One thing I've started to notice now is side shoots. Take these off if you don't want bushy plants. I can see you. Don't forget to ventilate your polytunnel. Open the doors like I've done here. And if you've got a window on the end, make sure you open that too. So guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. A little bit different today. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm Michelle from Urban Roots Allotment and I'll see you all in the next one.